Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking at the logarithmic regression curve for the fair value and extrapolating out what level we might need to reach for it, this to potentially be a cycle top in the short term. If you guys like the content, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So before we get into this, remember that all models, as we always say, all models are wrong, but some are useful, okay? And so a lot of this analysis has to do with the idea of identifying quote unquote non-bubble data, okay? And if you buy that, or at least think that it's worth listening to, then you know we'll proceed here. So the idea is that we can more or less fit our quote unquote non-bubble data to a logarithmic regression curve here, the blue line. We then add a tolerance band. And this is our general reaccumulation zone for Bitcoin. If you follow the channel for a long time, you're fully aware of, of you know, the, the value that this has provided now because for the last couple of years or so, we were well within off and on the regression band. And of course, in hindsight, it worked out very well, right? We said it one day, we're gonna look back at this point over here and we're all gonna wish, oh man, we wish we bought more Bitcoin. So here we are and we're trending up. Now, the obvious question at this point, right, is, you know, is lengthening cycle theory still true, right? Is it still true given this move? Well, I think the best way to dig into this is to this. And by the way, this is just extending it out. I think the best way to dig into this is to look at the price. So we're going to look at the price minus the log line over the log line. So we're looking at basically the percent difference between the price and the fair value. Okay. And this is the chart you get. Now, if you draw a trend line connecting the three peaks, you get something like that. All right. And you can see that in 2019, we had a nice run up, but we didn't quite make it. And now in 2020 and 2021, we're running up to it as well. We do not yet know if we will make it to that point. Now, if we do make it, then by the logarithmic regression model, we will have put in a top, right? Now that doesn't mean we can't go higher, right? As, we, as we've always said, you know, there's, there's going to be some, some shortcomings of every model. It doesn't mean we can't potentially go slightly higher in the short term. But if we were to go to this level, then we would essentially have a three year cycle if we were to go to this level in the next week or two, okay, or, or say few weeks, maybe the next three or four weeks. If we went to this level and say the next three or four weeks, we would essentially be looking um, at a three year cycle as defined by this model. So that would basically mean that lengthening cycle theory is not panning out, it would mean the four year cycle theory is not panning out we would basically have a very accelerated cycle that would peak in potentially Q1. Now, we're not sure yet if it's going to do this. I don't think that a $40,000 Bitcoin is going to be the global top of this market cycle. But according to this model, what could be, right? What could be in the short term if we were to reach it? And we're again, we're not saying we're gonna reach it. This is not financial advice. We have no idea if we're gonna reach this number or not. But if we were if we were to reach this number, then it might imply we are you know this this could be the top for a while. So if we were to go up there, say in the next few weeks, okay, we need to look to see what the what the overvaluation would be. And from the from the fair valuation trend line, it would be this is a logarithmic scale. It would be a five hundred percent overvaluation from the fair value. Okay, so it'd be 500% overvaluation, overvaluation from the fair value. Well, the fair value, according to this model right now, is $11,232.67. You might say, this doesn't make sense. We're never going back to $11,000. First of all, we don't know if we will. Uh, there's a good chance we don't, but you know, there's never, you never say never, right? Um, but one thing to consider is that you know, we left the fair value over here in 2017 at 1K. And by the time we returned to the fair value line, it was at 3K. 
So just because the fair value according to this model might be $11,000 now, theoretically by the time we return to it, it could be $30,000 or $40,000. It just simply depends on how long it takes us to get there because this is a monotonically increasing function. And by 2024, the fair value will be close to around $40,000 around the next halving. So if we were to say multiply this by six because a 500% overvaluation is a, is a 6x multiple, then that would put the price at $67,000, 396 and, and two cents, okay? So if Bitcoin were to reach this value in the short term, then we would be looking potentially, right? Potentially, uh, at a, at a, you know, at a potential market top, even though it seems like it's coming way too early. Um, we're, the current valuation right now is $40,000. So if we were to go up to this level, then by this model, right? By this model, we might be up at this level, okay? Now, the longer it takes us to get to this curve, the, the, the higher ultimately the, the peak price will be because while the over while the while the overvaluation percent trends down the actual over the actual fair value will, will trend up so if it takes longer then ultimately the peak price according to this model could go higher okay so if we were to do something like this where this is not the top and we come back down like we did in 2019 then maybe we come back up later on and, and, and finish our top then. Again, we do know that eventually this model will be broken because you know it ultimately trends down forever. Of course, theoretically, theoretically, you know, the, the regression curve has to be fit each market cycle. So after this market cycle, this will more or less become obsolete anyways. But at least we can use each market cycle to try to get an idea of where the next peak may be. So if this were to say take longer, another year or two, then the peak could be over 100K according to this model. Now, if we just go straight up to this in the next few weeks, and we go up to say, you know, close to 70K, uh, then it, that it's, a, it's a decent indication that this model has been, in, in, or this, this cycle has been incredibly accelerated. So we simply do not know yet, but I think we should have the answer in a few weeks, right? We should have the answer in a few weeks because the chances that Bitcoin just goes sideways at 40K for three months is not very likely. It seems like we're either going to keep trending up or we're going to have a, a turnaround point and, and, a, and a pretty, you know, a, a nice correction, right? It's either going to be one of those two things. It's hard to imagine Bitcoin just stabilizing at 40K for three months. Now, watch Bitcoin stabilize at 40K for three months. Um, so, but if this, if this were to happen, then this could just be something similar, right, to the 2019 peak where we came above the fair value and then ultimately came back into it. And then if we did it again, maybe we, you know, we'd go up a little bit more potentially, come back down and then continue on our, our peak. So this, this is theoretically still possible, right? It's not, like, it's not like we can definitively say that we're going to have a three-year cycle at this point. Um, but we just want to keep an eye on, you know, on where the price is, on a lot of the different models. And, you know, each different model has slightly different, you know, predictions, depends on the model. But in this video, we're just presenting the logarithmic regression model fit to the non-bubble data and looking at the, um, the percent difference between the price and the fair value line and extrapolating that out to try to identify peaks, right? So one peak, two three peaks. This was not a peak because it did not come all the way to the top and we, we quickly came back up. This was not a peak either in 2019 at 14k, even though we ended up being 200% overvalued from the fair value. Currently, we're about 250% overvalued from the fair value. So if we were to go if we were to continue to go up, if, if Bitcoin were to go up another $25,000 or so from where it currently is at around 40k, then it you know it, it might imply that 2021 is going to be a very different year than than what we imagined maybe it maybe it has a, a very early early top um and then we end up trying to hold support later on at the bull market support 
Or, of course, there's always the possibility that none of these models are correct and that it, it just continues to do whatever, whatever it wants. Um, uh, but anyways, we're going to use the models and, and try to identify where we might see a top if we continue this move. Okay, if we continue this move. Now, a $67,000 Bitcoin um, is still decent. It's still decently far away. It's possible that 40k is the top. It's possible that 50k is the top, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. And at the and at the rate that Bitcoin's going, again, as I said, as I said, we should know in a few weeks, right? I mean, a month from now, hopefully, we can come back and and definitively know, you know, has there been a turnaround point, or are we still trending up? And if we're still trending up in a in a month, then there's a good chance we've in fact reached uh, this level up here. Just to finish off, I want to show you guys the same model on a log log chart. So you can see we had this peak off the off the off the log band. Another peak here came back down. Second peak. Here was a peak, a, a smaller peak. Here's a larger peak. But we're still not at the point where we can call this a market cycle top. Forty thousand dollar Bitcoin uh, still is not to the point where we can call it a market cycle top. Um, so hopefully you guys like the content. If you do, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we also have the premium list, which you can find at intothecryptoverse.com. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. If you want access to the exclusive content, make sure you sign up for that. You get access to the weekly videos, the weekly reports, the premium Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the live streams for the premium list, and a few more things. So make sure you guys check it out. That'll wrap it up. Subscribe. Let's go for 90,000 subscribers and I'll see you next time. Bye.